Good morning, guys. Um, today's going to be something a little bit different. We are, I'm here with Jordan, and we are bank fishing on a little pond down the street, and we are doing a little bit of a challenge. Uh, he insisted that he'd be a part of this challenge, so uh, we're doing the one lure challenge. He's going to give me one lure. I'm going to give him one lure of my choice, his choice and my choice. And uh, we're going to go see if we can beat each other's pants off fishing. So we're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to win. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Right, Jordan, give me the lure I'm going to be fishing with today. Let's see. I'm doing the caffeine shads. KVD caffeine shads. Oh, it's a paddle tail swim bait. We ought to be able to have a whole lot of fun with this thing. So hopefully I brought the right stuff to rig it with. Um, let's have some fun. All right, what I'm going to pick for you is I'm not picking out of your tap box. He's got his tackle box. I'm gonna pick out a my bank fishing tackle box. Jordan, you gotta catch a fish <laughs> on my favorite square bill. This is a oops, sorry. This is a KVD uh, 1.5 in uh, citrus shad. So that ought to be a lot of fun. Here you go, have fun. <laughs> got a little bit of wind today, so I'm going with something a little bit, I'm going to go with a moving bait to start with. Plus, uh, typically farm ponds like this one have a lot of soft bottoms, so I don't want to really fish the bottom much. So I went with my favorite underspin, the original fish head spin. Absolutely love this bait. Rigged it up, I'm going to throw it around. I'm just trying to figure out the fish's mood out. Do they want to chase or do they want it right in front of their face? Do they want to, you know, hopped on the bottom or whatever? So I'm going to spend some time trying to figure them out with this. So. Going old school way, gonna take an old note from one rod, put the chesty on, Jordan's got his on. So uh, we're gonna rock around and see if we can't catch something. So here's the lake. As you can see, we got some wind coming. A Little bit of stain, not too bad. It's still fairly clear, but this thing, we've had a ton of rain this week. There's no telling what the fish's mood are gonna be, so I don't know, we'll figure it out. One of the things I do when I get to a lake, when I get to a small pond like this, is I try to cover as much water as I can as quickly as I can. Uh, I'm letting Jordan go ahead of me because I can go behind him and still catch fish. But uh, I just try to go from spot to spot to spot as fast as I can. And then once I get bit, I'll slow down and work that area really, really well with something different. I don't have the option of having something different today, but that's basically what I'm going to be doing. So Jordan's working really hard to catch the first fish. <laughs> I guess I ought to start casting and see if I can't catch one. First cast. I'm just gonna, I don't believe in catching a fish on my first cast. I'm gonna throw one out there, reel it back real quick. No, all right. First cast when I'm fishing to come up on a pond or come up on a, any part of the bank on a pond when I'm bank fishing, it's gonna be right down the bank. It's exactly what I'm trying to do. That's the first cast. Okay, since Jordan's got that other side covered, there's a little bit of grass in the lake. Jordan's got that other side covered right there. We, I'm not going to cast that direction. Typically I would, but then I'm going to do what's called a fan cast. I'm going to start throwing it around. One there, 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 and there. Let it sink to the bottom and then start reeling really slow. Trying to keep it up off the bottom a little bit, but I want to have it as close as I can to the bottom. Ooh, got a spider web in my face. I've got this, it's about a quarter of an ounce um, fish head spin. I've got it on a Muse Black. This is a, uh, a medium action. Uh, no, it's a hip, medium heavy, moderate action rod. Probably a little bit stiff of a rod for this, but it'll work as long as I remember not to set the hook too hard. Using one of my new Concept E's from 13. Kind of excited about the, being able to use them. That's their higher end reel. I've never had an high, a high end reel in my life, so it's pretty nice to be able to at least try and see what it's all about. All right, I'm gonna talk you through the cast I just made. It's kind of neat what you learn from just a bait that sinks. Uh-oh, good, except Jordan thinks he got a fish on. Did you catch the first fish, Jordan? Jordan caught the first grass. All right, so. I threw out the, right here and I noticed 
1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. It took five and a half seconds for that bait to hit the bottom. So that's kind of a deep hole compared to what was over on this side. Okay. So I'm saying, all right, there's a deep hole. And then I drag it a little bit and a bit and I'm like, hmm, it's not getting caught in the grass. So there's no grass down that deep. And then I'm reeling it really slow, staying close to the bottom. And then I just hit some grass that's up a little bit shallower. So I'm on the edge of a grass line. A lot of times if I'm throwing a shaky head or something like that, something that's on the bottom, I'll sit there on the edge of that grass line and I'll just shake it. Because those bass will cruise along that grass line. Okay. And then when you get grass hung on your lure, give it a couple of good pops. And depending on the type of grass, sometimes it comes off, sometimes it don't. Use your lure as your depth finder, okay? I'm gonna throw a little bit to the right of that. Let it sink to the bottom. Boy, that felt funny. May have just been the slack on my line. Okay, another deep spot, no grass. And then I got into some grass. See, I'm learning all I can about what's on the bottom, what kind of stuff, because the bass will stay somewhere close to structure, close to things, cover. Cover is uh, basically things they can hide in structure. There's things they can relate to. Structure is usually something that's related, you know, part of the bottom. And so are they out in that deep hole or are they up shallow cruising? It's kind of what I'm trying to figure out. Let it sink down. Once again, it takes about four and a half to five seconds. I'm always counting when that bait's falling so I can kind of tell what the depth is. Now, the reason I chose a square bill for Jordan is because I want him to gain confidence in it. It's, a, uh, it's one of those baits where you can throw one every single day. You can always learn something from it. So I'm, I, that's kind of why I want him to fish it. And I'm forcing him to fish only it. And it'll work great, especially that color will work real good in this, in this watercolor. Not even a bite yet. Let's keep moving. Whew, that took a long time to hit the bottom. Ooh, I got a bite. First bite of the day. Wasn't much of a bite though. My first bite of the day. And daddy catch the first fish. What do you think, Jordan? First dink. First dink of the day. <laughs> Hey, you gotta start, gotta start somewhere. <laughs> All right, Jordan. Do I need to sit down for a little bit, give you a chance? <laughs> One of my favorite ways to fish a underspin is just like this. I'm just reeling and hopping. So I'm just making it go through the water column like this. Oh, found the grass. That grass does not like to come off. I'm going to Change things up a bit. See if I can fish this thing a different way and catch some more. I have decided to wacky rig it. Yes, you can wacky rig anything, not just a Cinco. But it has a pretty cool little flickering, sideways flickering action. Let's see what happens. Well, it's going to take me a while to get it to the bottom. I'm going to cast out there where I, close to where I got that bite. And let that thing work its way all the way as far as I, far as I can stand. Let it sink down to the bottom. Biggest thing is, is think outside the box. There's more ways to fish a soft plastic, one single soft plastic bait than you can, you can shake a stick at. It's amazing how many uh, different ways you can fish it. But it's all in your imagination. Oh, right there at the bank, you see him absolutely just destroy that bait. That's the coolest action. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. <laughs> I like that. All right, so now I had to go change out SD cards. Hopefully the other one still got the footage I've had the last hour on it, but it is what it is. Um, as I am walking down the bank, I'm always looking shallow. I mean, that's what I can see anyway but I'm looking for any kind of life, any kind of bait fish. And as I walk along the bank, I don't see much of anything. Everything I see is out away from the bank quite a bit. So 
I'm not going to do a whole lot of more focusing on the bank. I'm going to focus on the deeper parts of this pond. See if I can't catch another fish on them. I think Jordan's getting a little frustrated. Change speeds. Slow down. Speed up. Change stuff. See if they want it really slow. I know you do. This is the one bait challenge. Anybody want to know why I don't like fishing a Senko or any kind of wacky rig? Because I'm sitting here waiting for this thing to hit the bottom for like a hundred minutes. I just don't like it. Got him. <laughs> Fish number two caught it on a wacky rig. <laughs> All right, another little dinky one. That's fish number two. All right, so I changed back to the fish head for a little bit. All right, another thing, if you don't know what the bottom composition of a pond is, is you just get something that goes down to the bottom and just feel. If, if you're dragging it on the bottom like I am right now, I've got this fish head spin, I'm dragging it on the bottom, and it doesn't feel like it's dragging along anything, or when it gets hung up on something, it just feels like you just pulled it through some some pudding. You've got a soft bottom. Um, if you feel like it's it's you know dragging across to tone 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 tone, or it's just getting caught a lot, it's more than likely going to be rock and or going to be some type of a hard bottom. And you're looking for a hard bottom if you're going to drag anything, especially like a heavy Texas rig or a jig, because what'll happen is it'll get down into that silt and just disappear and the fish won't be able to locate it. All they'll see is the silt getting kicked up and they don't want to be down there anyway. So typically on a small pond, I'm, I'm going with moving baits or a drop shot or something I can fish on top of or above the silt. A few more bluegill, a little baby bluegill on the bank on this side of the lake. That's interesting. I bumped into something out there and that fish hammered that thing. It's a little bit better fish. If you'd have hit this put the spot I hit with a square bill, you'd have caught this fish too. Awesome. That's such a good spot. I think I'm gonna throw out to the same that place. So what happened was I was walking along the bank and I noticed a few more bait fish along the bank. And so I stopped and and fished a little bit more. Well, you want to call it quits? So you can just go fishing with whatever you want to fish? Huh? You want to throw in the towel, Jordan? Oh, tell me, tell me. Come on, tell the camera. Do you want to throw in the towel? Are you calling it quits to our one lure for challenge? Jordan has Not lost yet. his Not confidence. Yet. Not yet. Not see, yet. see, this is how you pep talk your boy. <laughs> you going to do it? No, no. Come on, let's rock and roll. All right, so but through casting, making multiple fan casts along this bank, this shallow flat that comes off of that bank over there, it flow, goes all the way out to about right here, and then there's a deep spot. I think it's the spot's in the shape of an L right here. But it comes down, and it's about four or five feet, four feet deep there, and about six, seven, or eight feet way out there. And I think that there's a ridge that runs that way. So what I'm going to do on my next cast is I'm going to try to cast out into that deep water, let it sink down to the bottom and bring it up that ledge or up that drop and see if there's any fish on that drop. Let's see if that happens. I'm gonna have to, have to cast over you, Jordan. <laughs> Here it goes. Long cast. Let it sink. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna slowly bring it. Up that drop.
And I'm more feeling for where that drop is than I am trying to catch a fish on it, but you know, if I catch a fish on it, that'd be great. But this is how you break down. There's that drop right there. Okay. This is how you break down a small pond with a lure instead of a fish finder. What happened, Jordan? What happened, Jordan? Did, did something happen, Jordan? Look at that. Jordan got a, a hook in the pants. A new one. Oh, there's new pants. Let's see if I can get it out without getting too bad. Poor Jordan. Thank you. There we go. Don't swing it along beside your pants. <laughs> what do you say, Jordan? <laughs> no pressure, Jordan. Last cast, no pressure. <laughs> All right, let's go. That was the last cast. Are you going to have another last cast? Yeah. All right, let me get on this side so you don't hit me with something. All right, another last cast for Jordan. Da -da. I catch yeah, I'll catch Woo, I better move some more. <laughs> that back, that back cast just about got me. And your <laughs> Should I start singing a song? This is the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, believe me, they rub it in when they win. I promise you that. So, Jordan, how was your first challenge with your daddy? Awful. Awful? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I sucked. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The old fish head spin does it again. Oh, and I did catch that one with a wacky rig. So, pretty cool. I hope you guys learned something from this video. I hope you learned a little bit more about bank fishing and about how I attack ponds and about using baits differently, different than what other people say that they should be used. Just think outside the box and you can catch fish um, with just about anything. So like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out of the water, go out and catch some fish. Have a great day. What do you say, Jordan? See ya. See ya.